Supply chains are disrupted, constantly disrupted. And the disruptions come from so many different sources. One company has maybe four or five factories. Each of those factories might have hundreds of suppliers. These suppliers might have four or five factories each, and then they have suppliers and their suppliers. One company's supply chain can touch 10, 20, 30 countries today which means that over time, companies lose visibility to where their suppliers are, where specific parts come from, and, and certainly it's supply chains and the global environment is dynamic. Every day, something's going wrong somewhere. Somewhere in the world, some people are protesting, whether it's a port strike or a labor strike somewhere. Today, a supplier could get acquired. Somewhere in the world, a supplier's factory is on fire. And you can't micromanage every aspect of every person's business, which means you need to use data. So that's why I started Resilink. Resilink is the LinkedIn for supply chain. What this means is just like you go on LinkedIn, uh, you share your information with your colleagues and you put it in once and you approve many people's access to it. Similarly, on Resilink, suppliers come to our platform. Uh, they uh, put all the information about their supply chain operations, their factories, parts, etc. but they do it in a standard format, they do it once, and then they don't have to uh, keep doing it customer by customer, and they can approve many, many customers' access to it over time. People don't have time to then sit and research it. So using our content, Reslink not only tells them that, hey, there was a flood event in Vietnam last night, but you have five sites there, and there are these 20 parts that come from these five sites. Here's the contact info for the suppliers, and then through our real-time um, LinkedIn-like network, customers and suppliers can then collaborate if effortlessly and literally within real time on our platform to resolve that issue. So customers benefit because what could have taken them three, four weeks of sitting in a war room trying to whiteboard the supply chain and figure out who else is in this area, they're able to get to the answer literally within seconds and then move straight from an analysis to resolution.